All right, back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy, love one and hate one. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Now, what's a lot of clowns out here that's trying to push this narrative that Canelo Alvarez don't get no credit for beating Jamal Charlo. But we not stupid. We know what these clowns is doing. They basically just got their excuses ready early. Those built-in excuses is on standby for these clowns. But you already know how your boy love when the hate when get out. I'm going to get deep. And I know lately I've been kind of out of the loop. I haven't been making videos like that. But I'm going to be making videos all month. And I'm here to piss you haters off. All right. Vintage love one and hate one is in the building because if you think about it, that's all you hear right now. Oh, Canelo, he's only picking Jamal Charlo because of the inactivity. But we not stupid. We know what these hoes is trying to imply. So peep this. What you are trying to say. Rest in peace to the great Marvin Hagler. If he would have beat. Sugar Ray Leonard that came off of three years of inactivity he would have never got no credit for that win that's what you're basically saying keep that in mind keep in mind you guys I give Marvin Hagler credit for even losing by split decision because he arguably won that fight he still gets credit to me but according to these haters narrative they would have never gave Marvin Hagler no credit just because Sugar Ray Leonard was inactive for three years. Now, don't get me wrong. I wish the Mutt Charlo would have took a tune-up as well, too. The same way at the time when we all thought that Marvin Hagler was going to beat Sugar Ray Leonard, didn't everybody want Sugar Ray Leonard to take a tune-up as well? Especially if you a Sugar Ray fan like myself. Another thing, no one is forcing Jamal Charlo to get in the ring with Canelo. He agreed to the terms. My motto is, if you're not ready to take the heat, don't get your ass in the kitchen. It's really that simple. I'm not finna get in the kitchen knowing I'm not ready to cook a meal and then bitch and moan about getting burnt. Let me also tell you guys this. I will give Jamal Charlo all the credit in the world because he's going to lose. Don't get me wrong. He's not going to win this fight. But he will still get credit from me and I'm quite sure a lot of other people if he makes it a good fight. The same thing that happened with Caleb Plant. Like, we all knew that Canelo was going to beat Caleb Plant. But the fact that Caleb Plant made it a good fight, we all grew more respect for Caleb Plant. But Canelo shouldn't even let this get to him. He should just ignore all this shit because whoever Canelo beats, y'all, it will be an excuse. When Canelo beat Triple G, what did they say? Oh, he fought the Triple G that was on the slide. He fought a uh, over the hill Triple G just because he had a good fight or a close fight or he didn't look his best against Danny Jacobs. That's why Canelo fought Triple G. That's number one. If Canelo would have fought Pitfall Benavidez, right, and he beats Pitfall, what would they say? Oh, Canelo waited for David Benavidez to look vulnerable in a fight because even though he beat Caleb Plant, let's not act like he dominated. He did look vulnerable in that fight. That's why Timothy Bradley came out and said it too. He said, you know, based off what I've seen in the Caleb Plant fight, I do feel like Canelo will beat David Benavidez now. Right? But a lot of people will say when David Benavidez was basically knocking these guys out, that's the David Benavidez that Canelo didn't want to face. And whether these clowns admit it or not, they know it's a fact. I remember once upon a time, a lot of people were saying that Canelo was ducking Aries Landy Lara. Okay? A young Canelo goes in this fight. 
he beats Aries Lenny Laura. Then after the fight, these guys want to say that it was a robbery. Laura really won the fight. It was a close fight that Canelo etched. It's that simple. And he was the first person to beat Laura. And they always want to say, oh, Canelo didn't really win that fight. He's robbing these guys. The fight was close. It could have went either way. Listen, you guys. When you step up in competition, you are not just dominating guys. When you are facing elite level talent, like a young Canelo facing a prime Aries Lenny Lara, who the hell is dominating that guy? Let alone beating them. Same shit with Pitfall Benavides. He was dominating these guys, right? Until he stepped up and fought his first real fighter, which is Caleb Plant. What happened? He didn't stop him. He didn't dominate. But Canelo is supposed to dominate these guys. You guys have to understand. If Canelo faced all bumps or lower level opposition, he will be still undefeated. And he will be dominating. Like they want to bitch about, oh, Canelo, he don't dominate these elite guys. He barely beat them or wins by robbery. So I wish Canelo could just do what these other clowns do and just beat all bums that look very good. Man, this shit is crazy because I remember one time I was having a debate with one of my homies. That's a big time Canelo hater, but he's still my boy. There's no hard feelings. He gonna have the nerve to say, trying to compare Canelo to literally Bubu Andrade. And he gonna say, well, at least Demetrius Andrade dominates the fighters that he faces. Canelo be having controversial fights and losses. So you mean to tell me, if you give Canelo all of Demetrius Andrade's opponents, he wouldn't dominate them as well? You guys, I don't care what you say. Nobody is dominating. Probably won't even beat Floyd Mayweather Jr. All these clowns that's fighting today. They're not beating Mayweather. Okay? They're not dominating no Aries Landy Laura. You're not dominating no Demetri Bevel. Even the opponents that Canelo dominated, these clowns is not going to dominate them. But it's funny because when Jamal Charlo beat Derevinchenko in a very good fight, that fight was closer than advertised. Yes, Charlo won, but it was closer than advertised. Now, if Canelo have a close fight or a good fight with Derevinchenko, he gets destroyed, right? But Jamal Charlo does it, and what these haters say? Oh, Derevinchenko, he's tough. He's a good fighter. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> these clowns make me laugh yo but I'm done right here because it's obvious I got my point across that's my thoughts on this shit I am out